My name is Sylvia Whitehouse. I'm sponsored by Selkirk Sports. I am a duper 5.12 player. I've been playing pickleball for 10 years. I'm a national champion. I've won eight medals at the US Open, two at nationals, and two at senior nationals. I was a tennis player and I was playing at Spruce Creek Country Club. And one of the girls says, oh, you should try pickleball, Sylvia. And I said, huh, I'm not gonna try pickleball. It sounds weird, it's got a funny name. And she hounded me for a year. Finally, just to shut her up, I played and never played tennis again. I fell in love with it. it. I love pickleball because it uses a lot of my softball skills. I started teaching pickleball because I have a teaching background and um, I feel that I'm giving my cliff notes what I've learned. I'm a journeyman pickleball player. There was no one 10 years ago to teach me how to play pickleball. I have had to sink or swim and so I decided, okay, I want people, really I want women to be able to protect their face. Pickleball has changed so much that tennis players have come in and really intimidate people because they hit the ball right at your face. So the first thing I usually teach people is how to protect themselves. Um, and uh, it's just become a passion. I, Whenever I come back from a tournament, I feel like I'm a songwriter. Instead of writing out the words of my victories or defeats, I think, okay, what can I take away from this tournament? What do I need to work on? And I make classes into that, how to beat the bangers, um, how to... Um, to dink, drive, or lob, um, how to counterattack. So I really put into practice what I've learned from tournaments, my takeaways from the tournaments. Um, I think my most memorable one, I don't want to start crying, is when they actually played the Olympic. Um, dun, 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 as I was walking up to receive my gold medal. And I felt, wow, that's the closest I'm ever going to get to going to the Olympics. But it was a very um, touching, emotional, moment for me because I worked really hard for it and um, when you play your heart out even if you lose as long as you play your best like this last US Open I got silver medal we lost 9 11 10 12 I played my heart out I couldn't be upset I think I was really happy because all you can do is ever is play your best we learned to play at Daytona Beach Shores and I saw the people playing on court one and they I they wouldn't let me play on court one unless I could do a third shot drop so I was going to prove them wrong. And so I am I pretty much think I'm one of the best third shot droppers in the game and lobbing too. They told you, they told me you can't lob and pick a ball. Well, I proved them wrong. I think I'm one of the best lobbers besides Stephanie Lane in the game. And I think more and more people are using lob um, as an effective tool. Cause it's a, if you hit it, and it's an unattackable shot because that's what you should be doing in pickleball. You should only be hitting shots that your opponents cannot attack.